Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to enable the Control-Alt-Delete security login feature on a Windows computer. So if you're a home user, you probably just put in a password or a PIN when you log onto your computer or maybe even at the office depending how your network's set up. But if you're on a bigger uh, corporate network, you're probably on a domain where you have to type in Control-Alt-Delete in order to log in. So the purpose of the Control-Alt-Delete screen is to make sure you're using an authentic login screen and not something that's mimicked by spyware or virus or some other malicious type of code trying to steal your password. So for example, if I log in this other user here, you can see it just asks for the pin and that's it. Okay, so there are several ways to enable the control alt delete security feature. Uh, the first way is if you type in net PLWIZ in the search box, and now that'll take you to the older user accounts section here. Click on the advanced tab and you'll see a section for secure sign-in and it even tells you what it does. Guarantees that the authentic Windows sign-in screen appears, protecting the system from programs that mimic a sign-in to retrieve password info. But you might find that it's grayed out here and if that's the case, there could be some other policy that's preventing that from happening. So fortunately, there are a couple other ways to do this if that's the case for you. Okay, so the second way, if you're on a professional version of Windows, you could go to the local security policies by typing in secpol.msc in the search box. So that'll take you to the local security policy. And then you want to go to security options under local policies. And then you want to go to interactive login. Oops, forgot the I there. Let's put that in there. Interactive login, do not require Control-Alt-Delete. Let's just press I. Okay, so by default, it's probably neither enabled or disabled. But if you disable it, this is the key, you don't want to enable it, you want to disable it. Because you'll see, do not require Control-Alt-Delete is enabled, which means you do not have to put in Control-Alt-Delete. But if we hit disabled, apply it there. Now we'll go try this other user here. Now you can see it says needs control alt delete to unlock. And then once we do that, we could just put in our pin. Okay, so let's put this back. And if we try it again here, now it's back to the pin. Okay, and one other thing I want to show you real quick. Let's turn this back on again here. Now if we type in the net PLWIZ, you can see it's checked there too, even though it's still grayed out. Okay, so if you don't have a professional version of Windows, you could do a quick registry edit here. So navigate to this key, so you can just copy and paste it. So let's open the registry editor, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Paste this in the address bar. All right, so now we want to double click on disable CAD and change its value to zero. Right there, let's disable control alt delete, change it to zero. Okay, we don't even need to reboot, so let's go back here again. Now we have the control alt delete option again. And then also if we type in this again, you see it's checked here as well. And then if you want to disable it, just come back here, change it back to one. And now it's gone. All right, so once again, three ways you could do it uh, from the old fashioned uh, user account section, local security policy editor if you're on a professional version of Windows, and then finally uh, edit the registry for any version of Windows. So I'll put this all in the description and then you can try it out for yourself. So if you need to uh, enable the control alt delete option for security reasons, uh, one of these ways should do it for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.